right. There you go. I wouldn't say it's a cracker of a day, but it is because um, South Sydney are taking on the Panthers tonight. And I've got to say, I'll turn that right out here. I've got to say that um, I'm, you know, confident without being arrogant or obnoxious about it. And um, I have been for a while. For a while. That, you know, if we do what we're capable of and turn up with that right mindset that, um, you know, we can go all the way. Um, and, you know, tonight they'll, they'll, uh, they'll put all of that <clears throat> to test. I mean, tonight will quite possibly be our grand final. Um, you know, in terms of the energy, I think we've just got a good balance. So, um, I don't think, you know, not ha having the week off will show as much as it did last year. Um, you know, we're in a better place. Uh, and Wayne has admitted, you know, that we weren't one of those teams that um, that was getting flogged, you know, because uh, of the, the shortcoming, of, you know, or the way that the, 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 the competition was restructured and, and all that, all those things that went on, those variables and uncontrollables and all that and the adjustments that... Um, you know, the science department or the, the, the strength and conditioning uh, people, um, you know, adjusted. Excuse me if I'm not looking at you, I'm kind of checking out the, the surf out here. There's a couple of guys out there trying to catch a wave. <laughs> it's a bit messy and they, they're coming through really quick. Like, um, but you know what, they're out there getting exercise. <clears throat> so, last night's game. Give the podcast a listen, um, because you know I kind of don't go into it real super deep and break it down like you know. Um, but that's my version or, and my thoughts, my views. Um, and maybe I missed some stuff, but you know, uh, I didn't sit down writing things down. This is all raw and unscripted just you know whatever's still left in my head from last night it's a big head too there's a lot of stuff going on in there um so uh yeah i enjoyed it i enjoyed the competition last night um but give the podcast a listen on uh, anchor um at, at dead winner random life it'll be up soon or you can get it on Spotify, Overcast, um, Apple Casts. There's about eight platforms that it's uh, distributed to. So give it a listen. Um, <clears throat> South Sydney. Oh, the bodyboarders. Oh, the dude's a bodyboarder. Ah, oh, a nice little manoeuvre there, like a little 360, just to finish it off. Um, so, yeah, tonight's game. South Sydney spine, um, more experienced, still playing with great energy. Um, you know, up against the young heads. Um, oh, except for Penrith Hooker, he played in our grand final in 2014. He goes all right, um, and he does. Um, he hasn't played as many minutes or games as Cookie has this year. And, you know, um, they'll be, you know, all over each other, I think. They'll be eyeing each other off. So that's uh, will be an interesting contest. Um, oh, there'll be many interesting contests on there. I mean, uh, Jed Cartwright will be given the opportunity to, um, you know, show us his uh, versatility uh, being named in uh, Santa's there uh, due to Campbell Graham's uh, injury, apparently groin, so um, some people are going oh, oh, boo -hoo. that's the game 
we we're fine. We're in good hands. You know, unnecessarily. You know, if it's a Renault or a Cookie or a Walker and Campbell, no disrespect, speedy recovery to the lad. But he's kind of had a bit of a niggle, I think, in the last couple of weeks because um, I think it was mentioned even last week and everyone was kind of just going, I'll be all right. And even me, I was surprised when they called him you know, out and said, oh, he's, he won't be playing, he'll be replaced by Jed. Get into it, Jed. You know, you yeah, come from a good bloodstock, mate, and you've been, you've showed us, you know, glimpses of what you're capable of. Um, already, I think you've played six games, so just go out there, mate, and just do what you need to do for the for the for the team, for the cause. Good luck. Most of us behind you, mate. You know, uh, uh, the doubters, the dippy downers. Um, what else? What else have I got? Because I'm going to keep this one short. Um, I'll do another one later. Oh, yeah. Jace. Jace McKenzie. Cans. Who I've been involved with at different levels um, during his playing time. Uh, you know, he um, was on Facebook, um, you know, rallying the support and you know making all that known out there promoting uh, the, the Warriors playing I think the Thornton Beresfield in a prelim up at Raymond Terrace this afternoon I think it might be 2.45 around that time and I, I worked to one so I'm going to scoot up there because Jace I think he asked me the day before if I, I'd um Strat, but like I'm working to one, and it's a bit of a rush job, and I really don't have any um, rigid or anything like that. But um, and he had a picture of Cade Snowden on his profile, which he'd been putting up a different one for a couple number of days that involved Cade, if it was with Cade or Cade on his own or whatever. And, and I seen it come up in my feed. And I just made the comment, ah, oh, somebody's having a bromance. <laughs> and Jason just comes back and we've come up and strapped the team. <laughs> That's a great response, Jace. Um, but, you know, because of work, and I'm not really prepared, um, you know, with, with, with materials. Um, but, and so he says, we'll come up and give him one of your, one of your famous pre-match pep talks. So I'll, I'll wander up there, and if the pep talk thing happens, then good. If it doesn't, I'll go up and I'll watch some senior footy, which I haven't done for a couple of years, and I'll I'll um, possibly catch up with some people that I haven't seen at a football game for a while either, and it's not that far, straight up the f f freeway really, and um, yeah, up the M1 there to the end there, at the end of Beresfield, and then going from there um, yeah so yeah I'm keen for that uh, yeah. but um, yeah, tonight big game and um, you know uh, I'm not getting into the old coach against players stuff and all these posts that people put up on Facebook trying to you know have a, a different uh perspective or a different approach or, you know, analyse what's happening from a different angle. It's going to be 17 blokes going out there, you know, looking to um, get the opportunity to, to play in a grand final. So it'll be on. Um, and I just think that South Sydney's experience, you know, um, will, could be 12 points better. That's my prediction. I don't know what the score is going to be, but I just think that South Sydney, you know, could be 12 points in front um, when it's all said and done. Although Penrith might get a late one. <laughs> so it could come in, come in at, you know, at six points. But, um, yeah, uh, 
and whatever happens um, tonight, um, you know, I'm, I'm just really um, glad that um, South Sydney, uh, you know, have achieved what they've achieved and um, all of the so-called experts out there, the professional experts, I'm primarily speaking about, um, you know, like the, the people that have been paid enormous amounts of money to have an opinion and really early on, well, South Sydney wouldn't make the top eight and all that. And, you know, I don't know where they get... I, I, you know, like, Wayne Bennett hasn't shown me any reason or cause to think otherwise that, you know, he's still capable. Very. And so, you know, while he is, any team that he coaches, you know, one year usually to get it all together and then from there he's just you know into it um capable so and the boys have responded well um so it's let's get on with it up the mighty South Sydney Rabbitohs and uh yeah we'll talk again later go the boys